we just redirect him to the repository of Kalasalingam and then you just verify it and then give him the access. So that's how it uh, functions. Okay. Now, as I mentioned, there are about uh, three types of content we have at NDL. One is bond digital object, which means you have typed the entire uh, thesis in your uh, computer and you have converted it into a PDF file and then submitted to your university at the time of your PhD submission. So that is called bond digital content. Suppose uh, to 30 years back when there was uh, not uh, much use of computer for uh, typing and all. So people used to uh, handwritten or by uh, type write. Okay. So now that is that the entire thesis is available in a physical object format. Suppose if you scan that entire thesis and put it in the uh, internet, then it is called digital surrogate of a physical object. And third type of content we have is only the digital metadata. We may not have the full text resources. And these are the three types of content we have at NDLI. And the metadata, uh, we only store metadata. The full text comes only from our content partner. As I uh, mentioned, we have 278 content partners uh, spreading across the entire country as well as outside of the country. So you name any major educational research and publishing uh, partner, they are a partner of National Digital Library of India. And then let's look at what type of content we have at India. Uh, computer science information and general work we have closer to our core resources, philosophy and psychology 6.1 lakh resources, religion 2 lakh resources, social sciences 45 lakh resources, language 1 lakh resources, natural science and mathematics 60, uh, sorry, 83 lakh resources, technology 1 crore resources, the arts, fine and decorative arts 4.5 lakh resources, literature and rhetoric 7.8 lakh resources, history and geography 6.1 lakh resources. So if you add up uh, all these resources, you will come across the 4.8 crore resources. Okay, so at the NDLA, we have as of today 4.8 pro resources. And who are the top 20 content contributors? So there is someone called the World Ebook Library from whom the government of India has procured national license. So they have contributed closer to 77 lakh resources, followed by Site CRX, we have 52 lakh resources, PubMed Central 38 lakh uh, resources, IEEE 33 lakh resources, WHO 26 lakh. Uh, similarly, Springerling, we have uh, 21 lakh resources. So IEEE and Springerling, we only have the metadata. We don't have access to the full text resources. And then what type of content uh, are available at uh, NDM? So be the thesis, dissertation, research projects, uh, lecture slides, video lectures, audio lectures, class notes, post where term papers, assignments, assessments, question banks, uh, solutions, ebooks, articles, annual reports, uh, law judgments, law acts, data sets, manuscripts. So we have a, a variety of uh, content. We have closer to, I think, uh, 60 different types of uh, content available in the area. So article dominates list with around uh, 3 crore resources, followed by books, 64 lakh. Reports are around 2 lakh, 12 lakh resources. And then access options. Uh, so there are five different types of access options available at NDL. The first access option is open. So open and NDL users. These are two different uh, access options. If uh, you see these two uh, access options, it means uh, they are full text resources. So uh, open is denoted by green lock open. And the NDL uh, resources are denoted by a man with NDLI written on it. These two denote uh, NDL uh, resources. And uh, limited access are uh, only part of the text is available. And uh, say, for example, if there is a 100 page article, uh, you may have access to only 50 page of the article. So many 50 pages may not be available. And subscribe, uh, say, for example, if a Springer or IEEE. Uh, we only have the metadata. 
suppose if you want the full text then what you have to do is suppose if your institution has subscribed to ieee or springer then from your the database of ndli you can uh, navigate to these resources and download suppose if your institution has not subscribed to ieee or springer then you may not have the full text as well and the fifth uh, access option is restricted uh, say for example uh, iit jodhpur has created given the content only for their internal consumption not for any external users then access site wise uh, content so open resources are 2.74 crore resources and then ndla resources are uh, 77 lakh resources so if you add up these two uh, resources you will get 3.62 crore resources as uh, full text uh, resources which means you can actually download these resources without having to pay a single penny and use it for educational purposes and then who is this part the contents are meant for every age group starting from the school going children to college going youths professionals academicians researchers entrepreneurs and lifelong learners so we have resources for every uh, age group now let's look at how to access ndl so ndl is simple uh, you just have to go to uh, the google or any section just give me a moment sorry there was an important call there to pick up so uh, just go to google and search for national digital library of india so the first url which you get ndl.iitkgp.in so that's our uh, page so you just have to click on the home page. then it will take you to our home page. this is how our uh, new home page looks like so at the center you have the search box and uh, during this time of lockdown our team has actually uh, classified our resources into various uh, uh, educational levels and domain say for example stay at home we can for school, school students we have a tab for engineering students we have a separate tab science students humanities literature management and law so this is how our uh, content has been classified and also our team has created a covid nine research uh, repository and also there is a featured collections of it. so suppose if you want to search what just go here and type the search table. So for using the two important things. The first important thing is you must know the correct search keyword. Okay, that is one that you know you must know. And without any spelling mistake. Suppose if you make any spelling mistake, then the results will be different. So this is the uh, first thing that you need to remember and the second thing you need to remember is various filter options that are available so i will talk about the filter options in a short way and also our interface can be changed into various indian languages so currently it's available in hindi bangla gujarati marathi Uriya, tamil Malayalam, uh, assamese so it's available in various indian languages so you just have to go here and then click on the language and then all the language will uh, come down so whichever language you want to change the interface to, you just click there and then the entire interface will change it to the your uh, uh, mother tongue. Okay. So this is uh, so here I searched for uh, a topic called Tamil literature and then I applied a, a filter called language. So in Tamil it's written as Moli. I took Tamil. so I wanted the resources only from Tamil uh, uh, language. So I got. 2325 results on this topic of Tamil literature in Tamil language. Okay. And then I searched on the topic called construction uh, things. And I searched on the topic called uh, construction techniques. I wanted 
it only for uh, there is a filter called educational level i chose for ug and pg and then i wanted only video lecture so on the right hand side there is a filter called content type so i clicked on video 66 uh, video lectures on this topic of construction techniques and there are other filters like access restriction not uh, subject category education level file format language learning resource type and so so these are the various filter options that are available and content type uh, is another filter which is available on the right hand side and then search for a topic called engineering mechanics and uh, here i wanted the resources only from an author called sudarshan ayenga so i went i chose sudarshan ayenga i got 862 results the next topic i searched was on artificial intelligence and I, here I applied three filters. One is subject category. I chose only the content uh, from the subject category of computer science and technology. And then from the source of MIT courseware and then open access. I got 64 resources from on uh, artificial intelligence from MIT open courseware. MIT stands for uh, Missoula Institute of Technology. And the next topic I searched for was this Java programming. Yes. So I wanted it from the subject category of computer science and technology and only video lectures. So I applied the filter of subject category and then content type uh, video. I got 3,197 results on this topic of Java programming. Uh, so I was telling you about this uh, study at home uh, page, which, are, which is available at the home page. So now let's see how to access it. suppose if you want the content relevant to engineering uh, discipline domain so you just go here and then click engineering click this page will open okay so this will have a common subjects aerospace engineering architecture chemical engineering civil engineering computer science engineering electrical engineering electronic so team has actually classified it into various uh, engineering disciplines so accordingly you can uh, click here and then further narrow down the results. And then uh, research methodology. Suppose now let's look at how to download a resource from NDLA. So go here. I searched for a topic called research methodology. I wanted the source from only from lovely professional university. So I chose lovely professional university. I got 1438. Imagine if you want to open this first resource, then what you need to do is just go here and then click. Once you click, it will open this page. So this page on the top, you will see two tabs. One is content, another one is metadata. So when first you click on the metadata. So once you click on the metadata, this uh, section will open. So this is the title of the book or uh, resource. And then source, where is it coming from? Content type, publisher, profile format, language. So you go through this. Suppose if you find it useful, what you need to look at is second, you need to notice. So here it's open resource. So you can actually download these resources and use for educational purposes without having to spend a single penny. Okay. And then the third thing you need to notice is whether you have already logged in or not. Since I logged in, it is showing my name, Vignesh Swarnamohan. So now it's a, I found this uh, data useful and the, it's a open access and I have already logged in. Now you will click on content, then the entire content will get downloaded into your desktop, laptop or uh, mobile phone, whichever device you are using. Imagine you are not logged in PLA. So on the right top corner, you can see it shows login, you have to log in. So suppose if you click on content, then it will ask you to please log in to view this content. So now you click on this login, click on this login, this pop-up window will open. Okay. So it will ask you to enter the email ID. Suppose if you remember your email ID and password, which you used for NDLI, just enter the email ID and password and enter the CAPTCHA and then click login. So it will verify and if you have already given the right email ID and password, it will uh, let you log in and then you can download this resource. 
imagine you registered at india like a couple of years back and you forgot your password now what you can do to recover your uh, password is click on this account recover once you click this pop up window will appear it will ask you to enter your registered email id just enter the email id and then submit once you submit you will get the verification email okay and then you have to click on the url and then uh, you will be able to uh, download the it will send you the account uh, password reset link just click there and follow the process and you can uh, now actually come back and log in with your email id and new password and the third uh, circumstance that comes is you heard about ndli you have uh, never used it you have never registered at ndli then in that case what you need to do is click on this register icon okay. click on this register icon then this registration form will open okay so you just have to enter your full name email id and here enter your personal email id because if you put your official email id or college email id say after 3 years or 4 years you may leave the institution so your institution will delete your email id so you may not have access to your email id after that i suppose if you have to reset your password then it will send it to your official email id where you will never be able to recover your password so we urge you to uh, use your personal email id here and then enter your password and then confirm password and then uh, fill the rest of the details and then submit once you submit you will get a verification email just uh, click on the url your account will get activated come back and enter your email id and password you are all set to go the entire registration process will not take more than 5 minutes okay so it's a one time process and for searching and browsing you don't have to log into ndli you can do it at uh, without even having to register at ndli suppose if you want to download a resource then it will ask you to log in to download the resource suppose if it's a video lecture this is of the video lecture will open so as i mentioned to you earlier for using ndli you need to remember two important things the first important thing is you should know the exact right keyword without any spelling mistake okay that is one and the second thing is you need to know the various important filter options to narrow down your results so first important filter that you may want to remember is access restriction filter so suppose if you want only full text resources just click on open and ndli then you will get all the full text resources and then the second filter is author so you searched for a topic and here all the authors will display you just choose the suppose if you want the resources from voizang just go here and click voizang then you will get the resources from voizang only and the third uh, filter option you have is subject category okay suppose you searched on the topic called agriculture technology so what will it happen is it may come and both social sciences as well as technology so you have to choose both the filters so uh, depending on the search keyword you have to choose the subject category and the fourth option is the file format suppose if you want only pdf files go to this file format uh, filter and then choose pdf mp3 files mp4 files so you have to choose the relevant file format which you want and the fifth filter option is language ndli resources are available in more than 300 languages uh, both indian as well as international uh, languages so you just have to go and search for your uh, own uh, language you preference and then you can narrow down the filter and the sixth filter option is learning resource type suppose if you want audio books go here and choose audio books suppose if you want only books come here and search for book you will get book option and the seventh filter option is source so i told you uh, there are 278 content partners so far so all of them are listed under this source filter the source from where the content is coming from okay so here you can go back and search say for example if you want the resources from barthia university go here and search bangalore university you can click here. you can click here so similarly you have all the 278 so you just have to go through all the sources and then choose the relevant uh, content partner and the last filter is uh, content type this is available only in the desktop applications uh, application on the right hand side okay I, I have already told you 
that the NDLA interfaces can be changed into various Indian languages. You just have to go to the top and then choose the language and you can choose your language of preference. Also, we have uh, NDLA uh, mobile app in both Android as well as uh, iOS. So you can go to Play Store or iStore and then download National Digital Library of India and use the app and then you can start using it. So now we'll show you how to use NDLA mobile app in Android platform. So once you install the app, so you click on the app and this is how the NDLA app home page looks like. It will show you subject domain wise content, learning resources, type wise content, featured sources. Suppose if we want to search in the mobile app, what you need to do is go to the top and then click on this search icon. So once you click on the search icon, this search box will appear. Okay, so here you enter the search keyword. So here I search for a topic called Uttar Pradesh. And then click on search in the keypad and you get the results. So it shows 41,573 results. Okay, now if you want to narrow down the uh, results by filters. So in the desktop applications, in the application you had the filters on the left hand side and on the right hand side. So here in the mobile app, the filter is available on the bottom right corner in this orange color uh, icon. So you just have to click on this icon, then you can uh, see the third uh, screenshot which shows the various uh, filter options available at uh, NDLA. So you can see source content type access. So you can choose the relevant filter and then click apply. So what I have done in this uh, thing is I went to uh, source filter and then chose Aligarh Muslim University and then click the apply. I got 199 results on this topic of Uttar Pradesh. So this is how you need to use uh, NDLA mobile app. So now what is with Google and NDLA with the help of an example. Uh, so imagine there's a cultural file we're studying in class eight uh, and her language mother tongue is um, medium is Hindi. And uh, she wants to know about magnetism. Similarly, there is a guy called Shamik who uh, wants to pursue his uh, PhD in the topic of magnetism. So now both of them have gone to uh, Google and they searched for this uh, topic called magnetism. And both of them got the same results. They got 1.89 crore results. And both of them came to NDLA and then they searched for the same topic magnetism and they got 11,16,674 results. Now, what Poyle did was she applied the filter of educational level, fifth to eighth standard, and then she chose the language of Hindi. She got eight results only. Now, what Shamik did was he chose only career and technical paper and he got. 219 results. So now you can imagine where is 8 and where is 1.89 crore results. Now let's see what is the difference between Google and NDLA. See, I'm not going to claim that our tool is brilliant than Google. Google is a brilliant, brilliant tool. We don't have any competition with Google. Uh, Google does its job brilliantly. Uh, before we get into this, let's understand how Google functions. The moment you put in a search term, it goes around the entire world wide web and wherever this term matches, it matches the results, it pulls it and shows it in different topic. And in this process, what happens is Google can't distinguish whether this uh, magnetism resource is coming from an authentic source or an unauthentic source, whether it is a real information or a fake information whether it is relevant for uh, Payal or Shami, and then whether it is uh, relevant for educational purpose or not. So Google can't do it, it just pulls the data. In this process, it may come across some um, bad uh, sites also, it may pull the results. But whereas at the NDLA, we trust our partners and all our partners are primarily into educational research and publishing domain. And they are all in the educational domain only. And all these content are curated by the partners. So we have only curated educational content in our database. And the second option we have is 
difference is uh, you can actually narrow down the results using various filter options. Okay, so you can um, uh, so all the you can also do it in Google. You have this advanced uh, filter option, but I came to know about this uh, advanced uh, filter options only in the last couple of years. So before that, uh, even I was not aware. I think uh, there are a lot of people like me who didn't know about uh, uh, this. And then uh, you can actually modify and search based on the content type also. That is available at uh, India like not at um, uh, Google, but you can do some search with uh, content type. And the last important difference is national licensing. OK, uh, what uh, national licensing stands for is suppose uh, the government of India has already procured two national licenses. One is from World eBook Library. Another one is from South Asia. Okay. So what happens is uh, uh, when the government of India has procured national license, it means every Indian citizen can access these resources uh, from uh, these two publishers at free of cost. They don't have to pay a single penny. So that is how uh, it functions. So uh, this is what I wanted to uh, share it with uh, all of you. And uh, um, I'm going to give you a small activity before we uh, close the webinar. So actually, I want uh, each one of you to actually uh, download NDLA mobile app in your uh, mobile and then install it. Uh, install it in your phone and then search for the topic of your uh, interest or subject of uh, study or teaching. OK. And then you put it in the chat message whether uh, you found this uh, uh, resource useful or not. So I'm going to give you five minutes. Uh, now it's the five uh, fourteen in, in my system. So take time till five minutes and then put the message in the chat window whether uh, you installed the app. If yes, you installed the app. Which topic you search? Suppose if you searched on artificial intelligence, you searched on artificial intelligence. And then you found how many results. So I just want you to do this activity and then put it in the chat window. And then we will uh, close the webinar by 5:20. So I hope I made it clear. Is there any uh, question? Yes. Yeah, actually, uh, uh, the account recovery. I have tapped on account recovery and uh, entered the email ID, mm. but uh, I, I am not receiving any mail regarding it. Okay, kindly go to the spam folder and check if it's there. One second, sir. I'll see. So actually, what happened was our server was located in uh, our server is still located in West Bengal, uh, Kolkata. And since this some okay. uh, cycle, the server got uh, yeah. got broken. The line got broken. It was uh, not working, but I'm told it has started working in the morning. So kindly check. It must be there in your spam folder. If it's not there, kindly yeah, yeah, it, it, it is there. So kindly uh, retrieve it. Yeah. Thank you. So I think received the mail. Thank you. Thank you. That's the NDLA. Have books? Yes, Mr. Kalayras, and we have NDLA uh, NCRT books in our uh, app, completely online. What does that mean? Uh, you, I didn't understand your uh, question, Ms. Uh, Selvi. Uh, Mr. Dar Neska Kumar, yes, uh, this will be uh, the entire the presentation we uploaded in our project website. I will share it with uh, Mr. Uh, Nyana Segaran, and he will uh, pass it on to you. So I hope uh, you are uh, searching for the topic. Have you installed it? If yes, kindly put uh, install the app. Lila Vidhi has missed. Somebody has installed the app. 
Kala Yarasan can we download and use gadgets like Kindle? Acha. So I've never tried Mr. Kala Yarasan. If you can, uh, if you can do it, that's brilliant. You let me know also. I will also try. Angu Hari Hara Karthik. Great uh, Karthik. Saravan and TK himself, that's uh, good. So installation is one part. The second part is I want you to actually search the topic of your subject, whether uh, you are a teacher or a student, whoever you are. So kindly search the topic of uh, your interest and then uh, put it in the chat message topic you search and how many results you found on this topic. So I search for that. I got 92,000. Thank you, Kamleshwar. Mr. Kamleshwar. Yeah. So, Mr. Darwin Lakuma searched the topic spe spectrum sensing. Okay. Dr. M. Srinivasan, can we change the institution mail ID to personal email ID? You can actually add an additional email ID, Mr. Srinivasan, in the app. So, you have to go to this uh, your profile section and then uh, you can add your additional uh, filter, ad additional email ID. So, Mr. Machine Learning. So really and it is useful okay good 